back at it again and we've got one here with jesse lee peterson shout out to jesse lee peterson <laughs> he's uh amazing <laughs> um if you've watched jesse lee peterson then you know why i just said that but um anyway we've got an interesting topic here today so Without further ado, like, share, comment, hit that subscribe button if you're new. If you would like to follow me on social media, all, all of those links are down below in the description box. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, True Social, Discord server, all of that good stuff is in the description box below. And with all that being said, let's dive in. Let me talk to Brandon, Brandon, a first-time caller out of uh, Canada. Brandon, get it off your chest. Jesse, how you doing, sir? All is well. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Listen, I don't no man is good. Time, but I have, I have a few questions for you. Okay. So the first question that I have, because we're starting to see, we, we were shielded for a long time, but now we're starting to see a lot of that white privilege movement down here. White privilege? Are, what is white privilege? Yeah, we're, we're getting a lot of people that are saying that because we're white that we're, we're very Oh, privileged. okay. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, and, I, and this hurts me because a lot of my friends growing up, because we're border with Detroit, a lot of us, I, I grew up with a lot of black guys, and I learned a lot, man, from my friends' grandmothers that, that all came down from down south, and they were so respectful. And yes. they've never seen any of this stuff. Yes, that's right. And, and it, it, it crushes me because my parents are both from overseas, so my grandfather was from Russia originally, and I'm first-generation Canadian. Um, he was forced into the military, uh, and when he refused service, he was put into the slave labor camps for eight years. Amazing. After getting out of that, he met my grandmother. She taught him how to read and write, and with that knowledge, he became very successful. And still to this day, we're reaping the benefits of, you know, his success. But one of the biggest things is, is that, you know, we weren't just given anything. We were. That's rough. Eight years. Eight years. Oh, man, I couldn't imagine. Sheesh. Simply for saying no. Dang. We're taught to work hard, right? Nothing was ever, I mean, I'm putting myself through school right now. And... It crushes me to know. Why are you crushed? It, it crushes me to know that people are looking at him as, as privileged for but, what he's accomplished. Brandon, you know I mean? a man should not be crushed. <laughs> I just like feel that way. Like, I, I feel like. But you feel like it, a woman. Women are crushed. Men are not crushed. Mm -hmm. it, I guess I should, I, I should just say that it. it, it it bothers me to know that if he were to show up right now, that people would look at him as, as privileged. Why are you and bothered by that, though? Why do you care what people think that you're so crushed and bothered? Well, you know, he it, for me, it's just a respect thing, you know. And, and for me to look at, to know that if, if you know, even for me with the, the challenges that I've overcome, for me, if I want to become successful and if I do become successful, that... Um, a percentage of that success was because I was white and not the fact that. So what's your question for hard. me? What's your question? My question is, is when you're in the middle of these discussions with people, and I, I follow your show all the time, and uh, I have a lot of respect for your, your, your critical thinking abilities and your, and your points of view. And I wanted your opinion on how not just me, but a lot of other people that are feeling the same way, uh, how we, can develop the knowledge and the thinking ability when these discussions are brought up to really defend ourselves on it. Good question. In today's society, as a white person, I don't think you can defend yourself against that. White people don't have freedom of speech. I've touched on that before in a previous video. Um, the what what will happen? Actually, we we I got a perfect example. The um, ASU video. The uh, what, what was that Arizona State University video that we checked out with the the multicultural room and the two white guys were in there. One white guy had a um, a Chick Fil A cup, a Bass Pro hat, and the the other in um, a Police Lives Matter sticker on his laptop, and the other guy had on an FJB shirt. 
and all of the uh, people of color in that room just lost their minds. It's offensive, blah, 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 you're white, you're not allowed to be in here, blah, 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 and they're just going after him, and as soon as the white person said anything remotely argumentative, they they just ratcheted it up to the, the nth degree, and just went even more crazy on him, and I'm like, yo, he should stand up for himself, but as soon as you do, as a white person, you're really called the R word, but... I don't know. What do y'all think? Let me know. Let's hear what Jesse Lee Peterson has to say, though. Number one, don't be angry about it. Don't judge them. Mm -hmm. And just say, hey, you're wrong. Where's your proof? That's not true. Speak up for yourself. Just mm -hmm. because they say it doesn't mean you have to go along with it. They're lying. So why would you go along with a lie? You just say, hey, you're wrong. Actually, we checked out another video regarding that as well. Uh, the the uh, chick in the room said... um. She brought up slavery, <laughs> which is, I, I, I don't understand why some black folks still want to bring up slavery. It's just like, yo, you, your mom, your grandparents never experienced any ounce of slavery a day in their lives. So why are you even bringing it up? Your grandparents never even experienced it. So why the, why the frick are you talking about it? But anyway, uh, she brought up slavery and was talking and, and, and went on a rant about also how you know, because of slavery, white people are in, are in a better position. So why all white people can can afford to go to college and she couldn't. So she had to take out loans and a white person stood up and was like, I have loans, too. <laughs> and I think they cut the clip there. So I didn't even get to uh, or we didn't even get to uh, hear the, the 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 black chick's response to that. But I guarantee you she didn't have a great one. But anyway. You're trying to accuse me because you want to take my stuff. You're trying to intimidate me. Just speak up. They say you're lying. All you have to do is speak up. And if they get mad about you speaking up, that's on them. But you speak up because if you don't speak up, you're going to feel worse later. They'll get mad. You allow sure. yourself to be taken advantage of. Just speak up. It's real simple. Overcome your anger and speak up against the lie. Tell the truth. Mm -hmm. How have you developed the, uh, the the confidence to? Because I know there's a lot of people, obviously, that are you know that I, that I see all the calls and everybody right now that you know gets all fired up uh, with you and, and, and your points of view. Um, how did you develop the confidence to really to, to to advocate against that? Good question again. By forgiving, and when I forgave my mother for trying to turn me away from my father, I forgave my father for being weak. God forgave me, and he took the fear away. Because when he take the spirit of fear away from you, he take away anger. All that stuff disappear, and he started to operate through you with common sense. Instead of you listening to the lies of Satan in your head, you now follow the, the light, the wisdom of God that comes through your heart. And that's in the soul of your belly. It's not in your head. It comes from your belly. Satan operates from your head. He talked to you. God operate from your belly. He reveals to you. The Holy Spirit is in the, in the soul of your belly and it will reveal everything. But you got to forgive so you can see by the light of that. And then you won't be afraid to stand up to blacks and Mexicans and liberal whites and liberal Jews and liberal Mexicans and Asians or anything because you will not have fear. You will have perfect love. Mm -hmm. The problem is uh, white people are not standing up because they're afraid. Mm -hmm. Well, it's 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 such a sensitive uh, issue with some no, people. No, it's not. Right? Like, well, that's their issue. If it's sensitive, don't bring it up. Tell them not to bring it up. If it's a sensitive issue, you can't lie and think I'm not going to defend myself. Facts. <laughs> oh, man. If it's sensitive, don't bring it up then. Don't talk about it. <laughs> It ain't sensitive to me, it's sensitive to you. <laughs> That's facts. Mm -hmm. That's facts. Definitely. What was the, uh, just one last question. Hold um, on for me. Hold on, buddy. Uh, yeah. I got to take a break, Brandon, and I'll come back to you right after this break. Amazing questions. Back in a moment. I want to go back to Brandon. Uh, first time call out of Canada. 
I held him over from the second hour. Brandon, thank you for holding on. You had a, another question for me? Yes, sir. I just have one last question. Um, the biggest thing for me is when, when I hear about these debates and talks about this kind of stuff, I always try to really separate emotion just because I feel like people's opinions, when they're driven by emotion, they kind of blind the facts to this. Right. The biggest thing for me is, like I said, a lot of my friends that grew up in Detroit whose family came down from Mississippi, Louisiana, places like that, they are the most genuine people that I know. And when they talk to me, and you know, they, they've, they've taught me a lot about good values and principles. They never, they... they it, How old it, are you, Brandon? I, How old are I'm you? I'm 27. You I'm can't 27. separate, you can't separate emotions. You have to overcome emotions. And as yeah. I've said a thousand times or more, that it's not normal for men to have emotions, to be an emotional mm -hmm. person, because men who are emotional are women. The anger, the emotion of a man is that of a woman. You were not born that way. You were not created that way, but you were recreated in your mother's image. So you have to mm -hmm. overcome that. You can't divide it. It will never work inside of you. Mm -hmm. When... The big, the biggest thing for me, and, and again, like this is kind of what I'm trying to understand is, is that when I first started listening to it, it, at first I was like, "Where is he coming from?" And then when I sat down and actually tried to see your point of view, you brought up points that I've never seen before. Besides, when I've talked to like my friends, grandparents, and stuff like that. Yes. What I want to know is, as somebody that has grown up in the south as somebody that grew up under the Jim Crow law, as somebody that grew up where, where racism, well, what people call racism, really, you know, where the heart of it's from, how does somebody else from my generation have the right to say that your facts are not true and that, you know, what you experienced is basically fake? That because... When I heard, when I seen that one lady come on your show, and you interviewed her, and her dad went to Harvard, and he was black, and she was a, a student of affirmative action, how do you, at the end of the day, like, I, I don't understand, like, how do they miss the point of view that, or the fact that if you need help getting into a college because your grades suck, <laughs> that's you. That has nothing to do with color. And I've made a list of what people are considering, like, of, like the, what creates white privilege. And so, Asians dominate white people in every field. <laughs> yeah. Whether that's financially, educationally, and so what's your question, whatever it is. What's your question about it? How do I what? My question is, is that, yeah, like, what, what as somebody that's grew, grown up under these circumstances, and obviously, you know, you never experienced this. You're not seeing, like, what these people are, you know, uh, are talking about what, like what, what needs to change? Because I feel like they're at the point now. Like these people that speak out against you, I feel like they're at the point now where they understand that what they're saying is kind of just bullshit. Sorry for my language, <laughs> but that's just as real as I can put it. Like what needs to change for them to understand that nothing is going to change while they keep promoting? Oh, that's a good question kind of again. Behavior. What needs to change? Is white people need to be honest with them. Mm -hmm. Tell them they're lying, they've been brainwashed, and you're not giving up anything. They're going to have to earn it just like you. And that they should be ashamed to be an adult and begging. Mm -hmm. You have to be mm -hmm. honest with them. That's facts. And then we need to stop taking care of them. If they're going to have babies out of wedlock, if they're unwilling to work for themselves, they need to suffer. I agree 1,000%. When these situations like the ASU video that we checked out, the more recent video that we checked out where the chick was like talking about, you know, all white people get their college paid for or can afford to go to college. In these situations, like he said, white people need to stand up for themselves and speak the truth unapologetically. Truth, right? You ain't got to be rude or mean like he was to, like Jesse Lee Peterson was talking about, but speak truth. But then also, I agree with what he was saying in terms of let them suffer, right? 
Uh, there was a YouTube short that I dropped probably a week ago now where a woman was in Walmart and you guys might, rem some of you might remember it. There was a chicken Walmart, a grown, a grown woman who had a light up book bag, which was the first sign that something crazy is about to happen. You know, a grown adult with light up book bag, you know, huh? I mean, to each his own, you know what I mean? But light up book bag, you're a grown adult. Eh, it's a little, you know, anyway, um, long story short, she had an absolute meltdown, just a complete meltdown in Walmart because a guy was waiting in line behind her. Yeah, legit, legit yelling, screaming, blah, blah, ah, blah, get away from me. I mean, just going, just going absolutely bonkers. And then you had all of these folks who were catering to her. Oh, it's okay, honey. It's okay, sweetie. We're gonna, we're gonna get this gentleman and we're gonna walk him away from you. No, F that. Forget that. If she wants to have a meltdown in the middle of Walmart because some guy is waiting in line behind her, let her have a meltdown. Let her have a meltdown. That guy has every right to stand there and wait if he wanted to. And me personally, shit, I would have. I would have. And you know what I would have did? I would have pulled out my phone and would have started recording, <laughs> which is what the guy did. He, he recorded the video. But yeah, I, I just would have stood there and just watched her meltdown and be like... <laughs> You know, with my phone out the whole time. Oh, I'm just going to sit here. Have a meltdown. Have at it. I mean, if you want to take it a step further, you know, you could trespass her from the property. But we need to stop babying these folks. Stop holding these folks' hand. If you want to act like a fool, you're going to get treated like one. We're going to put you on camera. We're going to laugh at you. Or you're getting escorted off the premises. But we're not, what we're not about to do is, is about to coddle you and, and, and basically tell you that this type of behavior is okay, which is what they kind of did in that situation. And I agree with Jesse um, and should let her have a meltdown or kick her off the premises. If that guy wanted to stand there, he had every right to. That video was absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, let's continue on. He was out of wetlock and they're unwilling to work for themselves. They need to suffer. Yep. Because if, if telling them the truth uh, won't wake them up, suffering will. So we got to mm -hmm. treat black people the way we treat all people. That's a great point, With too. perfect love. Either you hear the truth and overcome or you suffer and overcome. But white people got to stop falling for these false accusations of white privilege and race. And, and yeah, I, I definitely think he is right. Uh, once Once you've hit that suffering point, Reality will kick back in like, oh, man, I, I, I got to buy a toilet and a ruler and get my my poop straight, you know, my, my sh straight. All right. Because if I don't like it's the end. Now, will some people unfortunately make that choice? Yeah, sure. But I feel like a majority of folks will buy that toilet. They will buy that ruler and they'll get their sh straight, you know. And that'll be the end of this madness and people ah! having like crazy meltdowns in Walmart because a man is standing in line behind them. Like, what, what the? Yeah. I, I'll try to remember to link that, that YouTube short up top somewhere. Uh, I'll probably forget. So one of y'all remind me in the comment section, I'll try to find it. Um, cause yeah, if y'all haven't seen that, it, it, it was bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Let's continue. Racism and all that, they're just doing that to manipulate you. Most mm -hmm. black people don't think for themselves. They listen to the so-called black leaders and the white liberals. Black people are uh, in That's a facts. fallen state. They can't see. So somebody got to tell them the truth. And not all, not all, but most. You got to tell them the truth to wake them up. But as long as you cater to them, they're only going to get worse. Facts. Mm -hmm. I like Morgan Freeman's video where he had that, uh, where, where he spoke out against that and he said that uh, he didn't want a Black History Month. But he's a, he's a, American a, history. he's a phony too because he's pushed racism as well. Has he? He's a Pharisee. 
That's well, unfortunate because I really like that video and what and what he was speaking about. But again, like I've never really looked into it into too. like him at least yeah. uh, in depth. But well, I appreciate your time, Mr. Peterson. And uh, but at Brandon, some point in time, I'm I'm going to probably call back in. Yeah, anytime. I feel like. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time, sir, and best of luck with everything. But start speaking up, man, and then first overcome your anger. Start speaking up, and it's going to be amazing. God is with you. And you'll be fine. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. You too, buddy. Call me again. Thank you. All Bye. right. Bye. So, um, completely agreed with Jesse Lee Peterson. And, uh, you know, I'll end it with two things. The only privilege that truly exists, that truly exists, that actually exists, is people of color privilege. Privilege. Currently. Today. Right? Uh, in... I don't, I don't even really need to go into details on that because we've, we've watched the videos. <laughs> just, just look back throughout some of these videos that we've checked out and you'll see exactly what it is that, I, that I'm talking about when I say people of color privilege, right? But on top of that, the amount of people that point the finger at everybody else instead of themselves is absolutely disgusting. It is time that we force folks to actually take a look in the mirror and point the finger at that very person. At the end of the day, you are where you are because of your choices and decisions. And it's time we get back to that reality as a nation. Because, I mean, she's Louise, just everybody. Oh, no, it's not my fault. It's, it's, it's that person's fault. It's, it's, it's their fault. It's just like, come on, man. This has gotten ridiculous out here. But as always, y'all let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.